So, uh, this idea was from Jaden Animations. I know people would say this is copying from her video, but I got a few random stuff, okay? At least I don't copy her style of thumbnail like every YouTubers that make this video. Okay, let's start. So, these types of topics don't relate to much other things. It's just a bunch of crap that has no use with anything except just entertainment. So, do you ever feel bored? Yeah, I think all of you have felt bored before. It's such a painful feeling to feel. So you try to entertain yourself by doing something. Or look at something move around. Like, um, cartoons. Yes, cartoons. You want to keep your brain moving instead of staring at something for a period of time. But, have you ever felt bored and can't be bothered to do a single thing? Well, I have. I remember moments where I am so bored, I can't seem to do anything. Being bored and lazy at the same time is really horrible to feel. You really want to do something, but your body is unconscious, so you couldn't move anywhere. That's how I interpret it. I call it Borazy. Wow, well, what a very creative name. Let me tell you the definition of this made up word, Borazy, if you didn't listen to this duration of this video. It is when you are bored, but you feel like doing nothing. There's probably an actual word for that, or Borazy means something else. But who cares, it's, it's my special word, I like it. So the next one is a bit controversial between dumb people and primary slash elementary school children. Is the earth round or flat? Of course, people are getting triggered. But I don't care. It's time to throw some science into your brain, because I like science. And you should have some science for your brain too. It makes my brain tickle. So the first thing is that flat earth people think the government is tricking you or the Illuminati wants to convince you the earth is round. But why is it the Illuminati or the government that is tricking you? It doesn't make a valuable answer that the Earth is flat. So now, time for science and gravity. <gasps> so people say that you would fall off a spherical planet due to gravity pulling you. But to let you know, everything that has a mass has a gravitational pull on you, meaning the Earth is able to support you on the surface. Planets would want to equal the amount of gravitational pull everywhere. If so big enough, they can maintain an almost spherical shape. But if it's an ellipsoid flat Earth, it wouldn't possibly exist in real life. But continuing to that, there's always the center of gravity. The center of the gravity of a sphere is all equal to each other, but if it's on the applied onto the disc, the center of gravity is in the middle of the plate, so if you walk further enough from the plate, you would actually start to fall back down, like you're climbing on a steep hill. Basically, the flat earth is more like a ball, but many flat earth people think that gravity doesn't exist. But how do you explain things going up and down in the first place? When I see maps of the flat earth, the north pole is always at the center and the south pole is always on the outside. But the thing is that these are such ice patches won't exist since the sun shines on the surface equally. These just won't exist and the polar ice sheet form out because of the same temperature across the globe. So we wouldn't have an ice wall to protect all the water because then all the water is just funneling out of the earth and we're dying from thirst. Okay, so I've been ranting on this for a long time so I'm going to make a separate video about it in the near future if I want to, who knows. There was one thing about me as a kid. I like to chase birds. For some reason, I don't know why. I've been doing that as far as a little kid. I picture birds as like a plushy and an extremely cuddly kawaii sugoi animal that is waiting for me to grab and hug. Well, not exactly all birds, more like smaller birds, I guess. Well, that's all I have today. So, I'll see you in part two in some time, and also. Save your shows.